excuse me how are you good morning good afternoon and good evening from wherever you're watching me from so this is friday morning i am headed out i'm prepared i feel like it's not too cold i'm headed uh, to town to run some errands i'm also heading to sgr to cut some tickets but i'm supposed to do some booking there so i have this slim bag this cute slim bag from little bag a little bit sorry on IG I bought it at 600 pop and that's my feet some black pants black boots this cute 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 top that I drifted I can't remember where I drifted it from and of course my hair I'm thinking of doing a trench coat because the weather is very unpredictable let me do a trench coat. Let me see how it goes. It's grey. Let me see. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Green, grey and black. Plus <laughs> baby pink. But I should argue like the way our grandmothers used to say, Bora was scared by Ribi. So let's head out. I think it's a good one. Oi! I boarded these matatus, then later boarded matatus from the railways to the SGR. I didn't manage to record anywhere on the road, but that's it. I boarded some bike here that would take me to the SGR. <laughs> I enjoyed. They said, don't fall. Don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink. Don't run. Turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Get in these voices inside, just stay quiet Go to the place where all this began Just start again Oh, you won't see the light until the dawn breaks No, till it's all said and done You won't know what it takes here the bus fare for the bike wa was 150 he charged me 150 shillings and i think that was quite quite fair is it quite fair or quite expensive the distance is not a very long one from the main road so hi guys i'm um, at the entrance of the SDI headed to do some booking and this is the way So here I was headed to the part where our bags are usually checked and we are frisked. And you know, they usually policemen and some dogs that sniff bags, sniff people's bags. At that point, I can't, I don't even think it's right to record, so I didn't. Okay, so we've been inspected, so we are heading to the ticket office. Let me show you how. <laughs> So I had come to do the booking of two and cancellation of three tickets that had earlier booked to Mombasa uh, for a certain agency and now uh, actually Ahsoka Academy. Now what normally happens at the entrance when you get here, they usually tell us written just like in banks for cancellation for booking and all that. So I had to queue like everybody else and wait for my turn. <laughs> Look beneath the bed before you go to sleep. Keep up. 
So while doing cancellation, you're supposed to carry the tickets and the ID numbers that you used. I mean, the photocopy of the IDs that you used to book. So what they normally do is that they usually return 70% of the money you used to book in. And the money is usually refunded after 14 days, 14 working days. So it's usually a kind of procedure. The other document needed is the photocopy of the ID of the person who will be refunded for the money. In this case, I had not carried my ID, so I had my passport and I had to go and photocopy it to finish doing the cancellation. And guys, let me tell you something. Do you know photocopy of an ID here? Either ID of whatever document you're photocopying is 50 bob per sheet. 50 shillings. Who? I think they take advantage because people can't go outside. I don't know what do you think? Burned if you reach out and touch my mind is a battle. I'm trying to hide it. I finished doing the cancellation and as I went booking, this group was supposed to travel on 13th of this month, but I went to book. I was told that the slots, or the, rather that day the train had been fully, fully booked. Oh my god. I'm kind of frustrated because they're telling me that on 13th the train was fully booked. And as I told you, I was coming to book for a group of people where um, uh, at like 30 have already been booked in. Oh, we booked them like a uh, few weeks ago, but right now I'm being told on the team the train is fully really booked. However, I've done cancellation for like three people to and fro, those are six tickets. But I'm being told to wait for an hour reflection on my issues for an hour because I wanted the two to replace or to fill the gaps of those that I've cancelled for. So I'm still waiting for an hour. I've checked on the internet from meticket.krc so let me wait for an hour then no the way forward i'm tired there are a lot of people here a lot the queues are huge okay after making several calls i booked for them on the next day because the train had been fully booked on 13th and this is how you do it when you come here to the to print out the ticket you just write the phone number and then there's another option of account number account number is usually the number sent on your phone after you do the payment and then you press on query and then print then you get your tickets it's that easy guys So now we are in our bags and then they had dogs that were sniffing our bags. Actually, the way I have a small bag, I don't even know why they were sniffing, but I asked someone inside there and they told me they were checking if any of us has uh, uh, marijuana. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm tired, but still, I'm happy, I'm content, I'm grateful to God. This has been a day I planned so much. I was planning to also pass by Kamukunji. I was going to buy some items there. <sighs> but this has happened. <laughs> this has happened. I don't have an option. It's already 4.30. Going to 5 p.m. The only thing I can do right now is just head on home. You know, I haven't even taken lunch. I just took water. What did I take? On my way here, I did some smocha. Uh, while in town, I did and water. Where, where, by the time I left the house, I only did fruits and I feel 
not so hungry so I'll see whether I look for some uh, some place to eat or I just snack then when I get to the house I cook it could be either way either I buy um, I buy food to go and take in the house the takeaways or I, I snack then uh, cook when I get home it's been a long day a long day a very very long day and then something happened to me is it something terrible imagine i was shooting while in town while in thicker town uh stage za super metro so there was this man i was holding my phone the way i'm holding it right now recording myself with the selfie part like like i'm doing right now and so now when i'm holding he's on the other direction he thought i was taking a video of them or a photo of them so by the time i'm finishing taking that clip of me he's like he came on me he came where i was and he was like where's channel can you not took a video i was like excuse me i was taking a video of me not you using a selfie i even had to show him and then he almost became violent he became insultive he started insulting me. Then the Makangas were kangilia katio kamwambia we mze. So you've been shown there are no photos of you. What's up? Una mulize anini? Me I feel like people are so sick. People are so sick and bitter with life, and they are just waiting for somebody to project their anger to. Because what big thing did I do to that man? He only had an assumption. He only thought I took a photo of him and I showed him my gallery. I didn't have a photo or video of him. No, he was just overreacting out of maybe piled up anger issues from his home or wherever. I don't know. I don't even know him. But I found him petty though. So guys, I was telling you it's like people I think the high cost of living has made people uh, depressed somehow. Maybe a lot of people have mild depression because uh, how would such a man project his anger towards you because of such? I wish you had what you said. I look at my issues that is like today. I didn't at some point. I at some point I just uh, became too angry. I almost uh, responded to his insults. Uh, you know, but no, I didn't find it worth it. Yeah, I just let it be. I just looked at him. I let the men who are around there fight him instead. I mean, stop him from insulting me because it's so bad. So, 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 so bad. So, how has your day been like? Guys, I'm almost getting to the road. Oh, I keep saying I love walking. I can't remember the last time I took a walk. I'm always busy, always busy, always busy, always busy. The last time I took a walk, the only walks I take is from the house to the road most times if I'm not using taxi. But this is a lo quite a long one and I'm enjoying it. Yeah, how about you guys? Do you like taking walks? What makes you? You know, Kitambo, I was a fan of uh, playing lawn tennis. I think I should get back there someday. Guys, I've decided to take a video of my shadow, my walking shadow. <laughs> Am I crazy or something? I'm already on the road. You can hear vehicles passing by. Yeah, that's me. Hi, my legs look big. <laughs> they look too long. Ooh. But that's just a shadow of Angie. <laughs> I think I'm going crazy. Age. Until you break down I got to the house late. I got to the house at around 9. 
from yeah it was late it rained i was tired i couldn't end the vlog but i had such a successful day so i was telling you guys that i didn't manage to end the vlog yesterday because it was too late but i'm ending it today i'm headed out i'm going for tuition sorry for the noise outside i decided to make my hair looking like a kamohawk yeah i love it that way so see you in my next vlog i know it was a short vlog Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a genuine comment down below. And bye. See you in the next one.